Hey, thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. I have something fun for us to play with. This is a new collage sheet of face-ups. So there's all different kinds of faces. There's a king and a queen, a guy with a fedora, a cute cat girl face, and a little mouse up in their hair, uh, and a monocle, a girl with glasses, a side ponytail girl, a an elf, some other glasses, another cool looking guy, a girl, another girl. And so let's get started and have some fun because I've got some fun ideas of using this as a collage sheet for doing face ups with your magazine collage images in your art journals. So let's play, let's have some fun. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to cut these faces out because I'm gonna find a fun magazine body for each one of the faces and show you what they look like in searching for magazine images to use with them. So let me cut them out and I'll be right back. So with a digital file, once you purchase the file, you get a uh, link to the download and you download it and you print it. So you can print it onto any kind of paper you'd like. You can use copy paper, you can use cardstock. For this, I'm using a 90 weight cardstock because I'm gonna use it as collage in my art journal. There's no movable pieces like with a paper doll. So a 90 pound cardstock is what I printed on. But you could print it on regular paper if you'd like. And then the next step is gonna be fussy cutting them out. Show you some fun little tips. This is for the monocle or the glasses. So the first thing I'm going to do with the monocle is use a 5 8 inch circle punch. If I flip it upside down I can line it up on the inside of the monocle eyepiece and punch it out just like that and now I'm going to cut that out. With the eyeglasses, before you cut it out, it's easier, much easier to do it uh, than if you cut it out, you're going to have this little tiny skinny thing to hold on to. So leave it a solid piece and take your X-Acto blade and cut out the inside of the glasses with an X-Acto blade. So you just want to go inside here and cut that, cut the lenses, the paper lens out on both sides of the glasses. And always use a self-healing mat so you protect your workspace when you're cutting with an X-Acto knife. And if you don't have a self-healing mat, you can also use, when you pull out book text out of a book and you're using the cover to make a junk journal, you can use that as a cutting mat as well. So you could put it down on your book block and use that to cut but you always want to have something so that you protect your work surface once the inside parts are cut out i like to take a pen a brush pen and go around the inside edge so that you get rid of that white edge that's a super important step it just makes the finished result look so much nicer so i'm using black on the glasses and i used a yellow ochre on the monocle just go in there and get rid of that white edge on the inside. Next I'm taking a piece of scrap packaging plastic. I save plastic every time I uh, have something that has plastic. Instead of throwing that away or putting it in the recycle bin, I save it for doing these art projects. And I'm taking the image and I'm putting it over and I'm going to just put a little piece of washi tape at the bottom to hold it onto the plastic. Just like that so that just kind of holds it in place and then what I'm going to do is take my scissors and I'm cutting out around the outside edge of the glasses and I'm cutting the plastic and the glasses out at the same time I do the top part first so that the tape is still holding it nice and in place for me. It's just, it just just helps you hold it. And then just hold it tight so it doesn't shift. And once you're done, you're going to have both pieces cut out together. So what you end up with are the glasses and then you have a little clear plastic lens so look at how the glasses have lenses in them now 
Now I just move that, put that piece aside with the plastic and go around your edges because you want to get rid of those white edges. So get rid of your white edges and then you're going to take glue and it needs to have a pretty fine tip so I, you, I'm using art glitter glue for this. And you want to just put a little bit of glue all around that edge. Not too much. Just like that. You want to be careful so you don't get the glue on the lenses. And now you just flip it over and glue it into place on the plastic. And voila, you have a pair of glasses with lenses. And now I'm going to take rhinestones and I'm going to glue rhinestones all around the outside and make them fun and funky. So same with the monocle eyepiece. I'm putting it down on plastic. I'm using a little piece of washi tape to just hold it in place. And I'm going to go ahead and cut around that. And here's another fun idea. You can either cut around and use the chain that I've drawn on the monocle or if you have broken jewelry pieces, I'm going to leave, cut that piece completely off and I'm going to put a little jump ring through there and put a piece of chain to have an actual piece of chain on my monocle. So you can go that extent or you can use the drawn on one and cut it out. Either way, it's going to turn out pretty fun and interesting on your paper doll. So here's what they look like with lenses and gems. I glued little itty bitty sparkly gems on them that were sent to me in Happy Mail by Mimi. Thanks Mimi. Look at those cute glasses. Let's see which face up girl they'll look the best on. So here's what those cute glasses look like. I put them on the girl that's winking and it's just super cute. And they would go on any of them. So here's my monocle with a chain. Isn't that a cute idea? So just a piece of broken jewelry. I poked a hole with my paper piercer and added a gold chain. And then it's got the little lens, so it's super fun. And I could glue this into place. Look how fun that is. So that's just another idea of something fun to do for decorating the little pieces that are in this face-up kit. So now let me show you some examples on how to do magazine collage using these fun face-ups. So here's an example. This is out of an Art Doll Quarterly magazine. I had cut it out a long time ago. And if I take this face-up girl, I cut along this edge here and made that hand freestanding. And I can add this face-up girl. And the little hand can be holding her glasses. And look at this cute doll that makes. So she's got her fun and funky glasses and I can put that down on an art journal page. Let's look at some examples of the guy faces, the male faces. And here are some fun fashion pictures of guys. So here's a guy with a funky pair of shoes on and a tote bag. And the body is very small and the head is bigger but I personally love that on art journal pages. So look when you add this guy's face. Isn't that just super fun? That would be so cool on an art journal page. So you just trim out the magazine image and Mod Podge it down or use matte gel medium and glue his little face into place any way you want to tip the face. So he looks good on that. How about this one? Look at the guy upside down in a chair on his iPhone. Well, what if you tip this guy's face? upside down and put it on there. Look at that cute image. I love that. I think I might use that one. So look for male bodies. Here's a fun one right here of this guy. And look when you add a face up. Super cool. Super cool. It's just making fun and funky images to add to your art journal instead of using faces and maybe cutting out eyes and making them bigger and things like that. It's just another way of having some fun with magazine collage. So how about this guy with his hat? That looks fun. Look at that because of the body language. That would be super cool. And you know, this is one of those things too where you can change this up. So 
if you wanted to cut this hat off and put it on this guy, you could do that. So cut the hat off and glue it on this face. If you like this face better than this face and you want the hat on this guy, change them up, change them around. Or how about this interesting one? This is from Art Doll Quarterly um, 2015. Okay, so the person who created this, it says that they got a uh, box, a mystery box of stuff from a garage sale, and they they were in a recycled theme show. So he, they made this standing doll out of all different little pieces of odd things. I think those look like ice picks for the legs. There's little nuts and screws and stuff inside the box. But look how fun this would be to use that body and put a face-up's head on it. Look at that. That would be so interesting and fun with a really wild saying on an art journal page. How about the other guy with the hat? Look at that. So fun. Look at how interesting and fun that is and how easy it is to change that up and make that interesting for your art journal. This fun page. This is from an art doll quarterly magazine from 2008. These were handmade dolls. I love this one here where the girl's got scissors in her hands. I have a great idea for an art journal page using that. And look if I add the face up doll with the ponytail to that body. Now look how pretty and interesting that is. And I'm going to put that on an art journal page. I have a super idea and that's going to be so cool. So look at that. She looks great with that image. The King and Queen. I have an idea for a page for the King and Queen faces to do uh, the uh, King and Queen. We're the King and Queen of fashion. So I've got the king and queen faces, and what about finding a fun guy image? Look at this fashion image of this guy. He's got cool boots, striped pants, a leather jacket. Look at the king face for that, for the king of fashion. Love it. And then this cool, this is from, let's see if I can figure out what magazine. I'm not sure, but it's probably a Vogue magazine this girl with a fur she's sitting on a on a stoop and look at this for adding the queen face so you would have the king and queen of fashion how about a king page with just the guy on a page and a saying of i'm the king of my castle and my woman gives me permission to say so i'd love that saying it's funny people have been saying that saying for years and that would be a cool way to use the guy, the king on a page. So I'm the king of my castle. Or if you like his face, how about cutting his crown off and adding a hat? You could add a top hat and the monocle and you could make him look kind of as like a steampunk sort of a guy. You could add the fedora from the other guy to this guy, change him up, change it around, use that crown, cut the crown off and use it on a different one. You could put the crown on this girl and she'd have a crown and you could add a different hat to him so they're so versatile there's so many things you could do to make fun art journal pages just from the one sheet of collage images some more choices for the queen look at that cool dress and the girl's got a long fur look at her face on that so that is a cool face for the queen of fashion so I might use that or how about something like this this fancy girl with the queen face, that would be cute for the queen of fashion. So, so many choices. Here's my little studi studious girl, and um, I think she would be cute in a lot of different ways. I found this cute magazine image. I love that cute image, and look at when you add her to it. Is that cute or what? I love that. Look at that girl. She's got a cute little purse and fun little shoes. That would be adorable on an art journal page. I found several pages that would go really well with this face. So this body is smaller and this is the biggest face on the face up sheet. But I like messing with proportions like that. Small body, big, big face or small face, big body and changing it up. I think a lot of people do that in their art journaling and it makes it really fun. Look how cool she would look 
on that image. So I like that. I may use that. Or what about this one? Look at this super sassy image. That would be cute. This is a Chanel ad. Look how cute that would be. And if you want her skin tone to be a little bit darker, you can always use Arteza brush pens. Find a tan Arteza brush pen and bump up the color of the skin tones. Make her face a little darker. Make her uh, arms and legs a little darker. Just changing it up. Because any of these, it can be changed. You can change them up. So look how cute that is. So I'm not sure if I would use that one or look at this one. Ooh, that would be cute too. Look how cute she would look in that outfit. So finding magazine images and then holding your face ups over them until you find one that you like best. That one I love too. Look at super fun. That's really cute. If that fits in my journal, I think I might use that one. You could also make a fold out if it's too long for your journal, make a fold out. So here's this cute one. This came from an AARP magazine. And look at this face up girl on that. Look how cute that is. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. That is super cute. So I'm going to have a good time putting these on art journal pages and playing around with them. Okay, how about the cat? Ooh, this is really fun. The cat face image with the little mouse on its head. Look at this article. This is from a National Geographic and it's actually a mannequin, so it doesn't have a head. And look when you add this cat to it. Is that stunning or what? Love it, love it. Here's the cute fairy face. What about this ad? This is from a Fire Mountain Gems, and this was a Swarovski Crystal Belly Dancer costume. Look at how cool that elf would look on the Belly Dancer body, and then add some wings. So that would be super fun for her. Or look at this one. This is a cute fashion ad. That makes a cute a cute little fairy and that would be cute with wings either bird wings or butterfly wings or dragonfly wings or just zentangle some cool wings so that's kind of a smaller body bigger head or this one on the other side look at this one with the face that's tipped sideways and this cute dress that is like a crochet dress look at that for the fairy and of course this would this face would get cut away. You would cut cut a neck piece out and put that down. That looks cute. Or how about this one? This is a very ethereal fashion looking outfit. Look at that for a fairy. These are super fun, super cute. So I hope these gave you some ideas of things to do with the face ups and um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick and choose which one is going to go with which magazine image and I'm going to do some art journal pages and on the next video I'll show you my final art journal pages that I created using magazine images and these face-up images. So if you're interested in uh, purchasing the page, the collage page of these face-ups, there will be a link in the description box below where you can find them and play around, see what you can create, what you can come up with. You could put flowers in their hair, you could put hats on their heads, change them up. If you want a different color, so say you wanted this girl to have a black hair, you can always use a paint pen and change their hair, change their eye color. Use paint pens to change them up if you want to change the way they are from what I've colored them. So lots of options, lots of ideas. I hope those gave you some fun ideas to play. Go make some art, because art soothes the heart.